people photo albums are a thing of the past. Instead, their beloved photos of uh, family and friends are now archived on social media or on their Facebook or Instagram pages. So you can imagine a local woman's shock when she logged onto Facebook only to find out that her account had been removed seemingly for no reason. When Facebook wouldn't respond, she decided to get Marty. Autumn Melvin's Facebook page, the big family picture, pictures of her children, Autumn dancing with her husband, Eddie. He died in a tragic accident while the family vacationed in Mexico. She covets each picture, calls Facebook her family photo album. When the site shut her down, took the photos and access to them away, Autumn was devastated. It was so unbelievable. I was angry, I was sad, I was obviously mad, I wanted answers. Look at all the pictures of Daddy. Autumn often uses Facebook through her yeah. cell phone. Her kids are often part of that picture browsing, oftentimes pictures of Daddy. One after at Facebook, the pictures, then nothing. It was like I never existed. You disappeared. Gone. For weeks she tried, phone calls, emails to Facebook, then this. We've determined you're ineligible to use Facebook. Your account has been removed for violating the Facebook Statement of Rights and Responsibilities, Section 4.6. This decision is final. According to Autumn, Section 4.6, someone accused her and provided documentation she is a registered sex offender. You are a convicted sexual offender. So you get bizarre email saying we need your license. Yes. You give them the info. Yes. They send you back an email because no one speaks to you. Right. And the email with the code says, we took you down because why? I'm a convicted sexual offender. You? Yes. Have you ever been arrested in your life? No. <laughs> Have you ever done anything in your life like no. this? She's right. We had to check. Clean record. Zero arrests. Can't even find a parking ticket. Her kids were confused. Her friends, her family confounded. The incident happened in April. She says she reached out to Facebook at least 30 times. Did they ever reach out to you? I still, to today, have not heard from one person. She sent me a desperate email. It's scary having an allegation level connected to my name. Another pain point is losing all the memories of my deceased husband with my children and I. I've done is everything that I could. I exhausted my resources, and then I was like, I gotta call Marty. I reached out to Facebook. The company responded. Hi, Marty. My apologies for the delayed response. The profile you brought to our attention was restored. It was taken down in error. I'm so sorry for the mistake. I asked for an explanation. Facebook responded. I'm so sorry, Marty. I can't for reasons of privacy. I can talk to her directly if she's willing. Autumn is back on Facebook. Within, what, 48 hours, 72 hours, I had my page again. <laughs> yeah. She's thankful, grateful. She says she wants and deserves an explanation of how this happened. I have still never know why, other than what they explained was an error. But I want to know what kind of error. Did you not do your due diligence? And how did you not do it? Did you press the wrong button, or did you not investigate the documents you were provided? And are there documents that are false? Because this is serious. Right. <laughs> I can't have false documents claiming I'm a sexual offender. Can you imagine? It's been scary stuff. There's so many concerns here regarding this story. Facebook did apologize. They did restore her page. They did that. But how did it happen? How did Facebook make this mistake? How did Facebook determine Autumn Melvin was a sexual offender? And, and only after we contacted them did they realize she isn't. They apologized to me, but not to her. I mean, it's scary. This is Big Brother times 10. Well, that was the question. Did they ever reach out to her and talk to not her? Not yet. No. The, the, okay. the person who I've been contacted talking with says she's traveling the world. And, but isn't this kind of a microcosm of what Facebook's oh, oh, dealing the, with the, right now? The person you contact is traveling the world so they don't have time to reach back. And they reached out to me, but not her. It's scary stuff. Yeah, it is. But when we get the answer to exactly what happened, we'll tell you. All right. All right. Thank you.